The vibe of this trip is not trainers, okay? The vibe of this trip is ballet flats, kitten heels. Why are they saying that this is Prosecco? I'm sorry, why is it in a teacup? Hey. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lydia has been showing us girls how we do it on YouTube. What is your what is your years. 15 whole years? I've been here for a minute. 15 years ago I was a baby girl. Yes. I'm still a baby girl, but I was a baby girl. What is your <laughs> advice for us aspiring creators that I don't think it's doing it justice? This bed is like two lots of mine. They go above and beyond to make sure that their creators are looked after and shown that we care for you and that you guys are the reason why our platform's still going. Because without creators platforms wouldn't be thriving the way that they are. They're gonna have to drag me out of this bed in the morning. Good night. The sun is shining. If you don't know, grab yourself some clips. So I used to be obsessed with this stuff when I was in school and I went to the range today to pick up some stuff for the house and I saw it before I checked out and I just had to grab myself some. So I've got myself my little glass, my drink. I'm gonna pop some ice in it and a bit of lemon, I think I'm feeling a bit fancy. Let's go into the garden, shall we? It's laundry day, so you're just gonna have to excuse Corey's clothes in the back. Welcome back to another vlog. It is the most lovely day. We have had, I mean, if you live in the UK, you would know how bipolar this weather wants to be. It has been rainy and then sunny and then storm weather and then sunny again for the last couple of days. So the sun has finally come back out. I want to show you guys the garden, updates in the garden. We have redone the patio which I was gonna vlog that, but I decided to do it on my home account on Instagram. So if you wanna see what that looks like, it will be over there, but I will show you what it's looking like. Corey's got his laundry up, so you can't really see it in its fullest um, potential at the moment, but once his clothes are dry, I will show you guys what it looks like properly. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I did that transformation, it's over on my Instagram, on my home account. But yeah, we're in the garden. I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around and show you guys the updates from the last vlog. Behind me is my little greenhouse. I've not got a cover on it. So when it was storm weather, my plants were getting soaked and there was no drainage, obviously, because they were just sat on top of each other. So some of them, one of them I had to RIP, she's gone. Um, I had to take out of its pot and repot it because it just, she wasn't doing well. But yeah, my seedlings have started to pop up, which is exciting. And flowers are starting to flourish in this garden. Obviously we just moved in a few weeks ago now. So like behind me, I'm seeing this purple, I don't know if garden is, so if you know, let me know. I had to get myself a plant app actually that I scan the I scan the flowers, I scan the plants and it tells me what it is. It tells me how to look after it, which is amazing for me because I just kill things. But yeah, let's have a walk around. My knees are hurting, let's go. Let me move out the way. So yeah, we've got this one right here that wasn't here before. Um, it was all closed up, obviously. We can see the buds back there, but they have just started to flower which is really nice so i'm gonna get up my plant up please excuse the crack on my phone i drop it all the time i need to get a new screen protector but we just get this it scans the picture it scans the flower we take a picture of it and then it will tell me what the flower is and how to look after it which i love we got some gorgeous perennial corn flowers that's what they're called it's called a perennial corn flower and then this is our greenhouse if you were here last week oh, yeah the green leaves have started to pop up so in the last vlog me and amara started to pot these and they have finally started to shoot up this one is our sunflower this one is our mixed white flowers and then these ones are our mixed salad leaves i believe they've just started to pop up they do need a water but i don't want to soak them because like i said the rain really hit it and it was drenched so back here this is what i picked up from the garden center and then i had to repot it so there's another one over there let me just step in my goodness this whole back bit you can hear the birds in the trees um this whole back bit i'm thinking of cutting it down because it's not weeds but i don't know what they are and they don't flower so i'm thinking of cutting it down because i think it's just a waste of this corner you can tell that this is mint we've got some mint at the front i think i showed you guys this last week morning guys so as you can see I done my hair yesterday. It's always when you do your hair, you don't know how to act. Um, I did my hair yesterday, I done, 
goddess braids is that what they're called i think so i don't know i have not done braids since i gave birth in january so i don't really know how to act and i think in the last vlog i talked about my postpartum shedding the hairdresser was amazing i will leave the details for the place down below if you are manchester based she was lovely the studio was lovely like she was so accommodating and i told her all about my postpartum hair loss and she gave me lots of tips on how to help so hopefully these braids do me good <laughs> for my hair growth journey it's now tuesday i don't even think i've said where i'm going who i'm going with what's going on because the title of this video the intro of this video you've seen i'm with youtube you've seen i'm with i'm with youtube as in this platform that you're watching i have been kindly invited by youtube to go on a little retreat to the english countryside i'm going with some incredible incredible creators on this platform creators that i follow creators that are friends creators that i've been following for years and i'm so excited i'm i'm so honored to be recognized as a creator on this platform because you guys know this is the platform i've been on for the longest i have been on this platform for like seven years since i was a literal baby and now i have my own babies like craziness so I'm just excited so thank you youtube uh, but yeah that's happening on thursday so that's why i've done my hair all nice and neat so i can look all cute when i go to my first brand trip this is my first brand trip with youtube amazing anyway yes yeah, so <laughs> done my hair yesterday oh, i've been on a fashion rut you guys like let's just let's go over here it's a bit too bright anyway i have been going through a bit of a style rut a bit of a fashion rut i just i just don't know how to dress anymore i just don't know what i like i don't know what i want to wear i i just don't know what to buy i don't know what i need i don't know what i don't need ever since having my son it's just like i just don't my fashion identity is gone which is so sad because you guys know me i used, I used to be such a fashion girly and now it's just like i just get dressed for the sake of getting dressed for the day and when i want to look cute then i'll look cute but is that better okay sorry yes anyway so for this trip i was trying to do some online shopping i was on h&m i was on asos i was on mango like i was i was just trying to do some shopping and get something for the trip because i'm staying overnight as well in the hotel that we're going to and it's not even like i don't know what to wear i know what to wear it's just a matter of like looking online and then being like will it suit me am i gonna send that back will i like it will it be comfortable will it show areas that i'm insecure about so i was on asos for hours hours tell me why when i checked out i checked out with three things that wasn't the plan i'm gonna try on the two things that i got so i got some heels i got a top and i got a dress very random like i was here thinking anyway i'm just gonna stop talking i'm just gonna show you guys what i got I actually need to take pictures and send it to my girl Lucy because if you remember if you've been here for a while my girl Lucy's in London well she's not in London but you know Lucy is a fellow YouTuber a fellow creator and I haven't seen her since she came down to see me when I was pregnant that was probably about December yeah it was probably about December last time I saw her so she's gonna come to the trip with me we're gonna see each other again I'm so excited to see her. I've not seen her in ages but and he's take some pictures and send it to her because we're both trying to figure out what to wear she's just as confused as i am because i don't know whether to dress up or dress down but then i'd rather be more dressy than casual even though we're doing activities and stuff that is like movement based because this is like a self-care wellness trip so i don't want to look dressed to the nines and we're doing yoga so and i'm just trying to i'm just going to try and figure out what i want to wear because i right now have no idea i'm also catching a very early train like i have to get up at five in the morning which i'm not prepared for <laughs> i'm not prepared to get up at five in the morning but i'm going to because my train's at half six so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> I'm, just, I'm dreading it i'm not a morning person at all but give me a cup of coffee and a pastry and i'll be fine okay i brought me a suitcase because i've not bought a new suitcase Ever. I don't think I've ever bought myself a suitcase because I don't go anywhere. Um, all the suitcases I've ever had and used has been from family, like Corey's suitcase. So this is mine. She's cute. 
You can't even see, see it so bright. Yes, darling? So yeah, got myself a new suitcase. I will link it down below. She is nice and cute. She's not too big. What is the lighting doing? I feel like it looks like I'm in heaven. Um, not too big, nice and lightweight. Easy to maneuver, easy to spin around. And this is what I'm using. She's not too big. So it means it's gonna force me to pack what I need and not what I want. But you guys know me, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna pack options, especially in terms of outfits. I feel like I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna get dressed there and be like, oh that's not that's yeah, we're not doing that. So I'm gonna need a backup. So I'm gonna have enough space in there for backups. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm gonna try this stuff on. So the first thing I got was this top. I'm still wearing my pajama bottom, so don't mind that. But I got this top. She's a bit small. Um I didn't want it to be too oversized, especially this style of top, but it looks like I should have got a larger size. I hope you can see it properly. Just, I love, you guys know I love like this style of top. Love the neckline. It's so flattering on me. And the only thing is, I just hate, I hate when it is styled like the, like, look at this. Okay, you put the arms in, but then it has to stay like that. I don't know, it's comfortable. It's really comfortable. I can move about in it. I love tops like this. I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down, wear it with jeans, wear it with a skirt. And I don't know, I feel like I am gonna, the only thing is, it's giving crop top on me, like it's not the longest, it just about goes over my stomach. Um, but I love the color and I think this will be great for what we are doing. Let me know your thoughts. Obviously you're gonna see this after I get back home. Okay, so I tried it on with this skirt. I'm blind as a bat, so I'm hoping you can see me properly. I tried it on with this maxi skirt that I got from H&M, I believe. I think I showed you guys in one of my previous vlogs. It's just this long linen maxi skirt. So this is like an all nude. I actually really like this and it's comfortable. I bought these heels also, I'll show you, from ASOS, but they make my feet look like a boat. <laughs> they make my feet look like a boat like i have wide feet so i had to get these like wide fitted shoes they're literally like kitten heels they're really comfortable easy to wear but like i'm sorry they make my feet look like a boat it looks like a canal boat they look like canal boats so i don't know how i feel i'd rather wear trainers but that's just not the vibe of this trip is not trainers okay the vibe of this trip is ballet flats kitten heels so this dress is a massive disappointment. It's very much expectations versus reality, okay? I don't even wanna show you, but I'm gonna show you. I have to hold myself together. But this makes me look like a sack of potatoes. Why do I look like a sack of potatoes? It doesn't fit properly at all. Like, look at where the sleeve ends and where my, my wrist is. Like, it's supposed to be there, but it, it it's really short. The neckline's not flattering at all. And then the back bit, is this tie i thought it was meant to be at the front but it's actually meant to be at the back but yeah that is quite a disappointment as this was my only dress choice that i bought because everything else i was just like what is it gonna look like on me right hey, i have not worn this dress in a two years a year and a half I, I don't know it's been a long time it's been a long time this dress is from marcella new york they gifted me this dress literally i think it was about two years ago now maybe one and a half it's been a while this dress is gorgeous and when i first got it it didn't fit me like it fit me but it didn't fit me in the right places i think now that i've had two kids <laughs> i think it fits nicely it's a really comfortable dress i love the shape and obviously it has pockets you guys know i love it um, the only thing is, I didn't really want to wear black. I've been trying to avoid black for the whole of spring, summer. The whole of this year, actually, I've been trying to avoid black and it just might, it seems like I might just have to wear black and <laughs> embrace it. Or maybe wear brighter accessories with it, I don't know. But yeah, I was going to try on more outfits, but I'm warm. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Put the stuff that I'm thinking to wear in my suitcase and try them on later on today, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know yet, but 
that's what I'm gonna do. So thanks for getting dressed with me. I hope you guys like the little segment. It was very unsuccessful, but it's fine. Good morning. We find ourselves in the same spot that I left you, I think. I don't even remember anymore. Um, but it is Wednesday. I'm going to London tomorrow. Nervous, excited very mixed emotions and feeling more excitement than nerves um so yeah it is 10 15 in the morning i am about to pack my suitcase and pack my little i would call it a travel like a carry-on but it's not really carry-on i don't know my bag that i'm just gonna have with me for the day my radley london it's been in storage so the shape has like look at it it's my suitcase i think i showed you guys yesterday and then the bag so then we've got like a little matchy situation i'm really really excited so i'm gonna get packing i kind of have figured out my outfits but like i'm still navigating what to wear and it's just a matter of i'm confused about the weather because guys yesterday was nice and warm and sunny again and here we are it is raining in manchester today it's raining so much so i was just talking with lucy and we were like trying to navigate like what is the appropriate footwear to wear because we're going to be on the grass in the hotel that we're going to and like i'm not wearing trainers for this trip i'm trying to avoid trainers i'm trying to go for more of a elegant style for once kind of but like not really because i always wear trainers i'm way too comfortable in trainers so i'm going to be wearing my ballet flats and hopefully Hopefully that works out for me if not then i'm just going to bring my heeled boots but then they are slippery at the bottom so i don't really want to trip over in the train station i don't really want to have an accident that's just something i don't really want to do in this trip so i'm just i need to write down a checklist because i'm already getting a bit discombobulated and you may be thinking like do this in the evening when the kids are in bed that's why i'm doing it now because i want to be able to spend the day with them and i still have like mum stuff to do throughout the day so i'm just taking this time whilst they are occupied Hey guys, so we've just made it to the hotel. Oh my goodness, you already know I'm gonna be doing B-roll. This place is stunning. I've got my little <laughs> lanyard on here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, but I want an estate like this. I'm gonna do some little B-roll footage, you guys, this morning. We've got a lot to catch up on, but I'm gonna save the details of my chaotic morning for later, and I'm just gonna show you guys this place before I continue walking. We are in like this gorgeous conservatory. I'm so sorry, I want this in my house because how gorgeous. All the girlies are taking their content, of course, because this place is just stunning. I'm about to shoot some content myself. I've changed. It was so chaotic today. I'll explain to you guys what happened later. I'm also the founder of Boston Bloom, which is a YouTube program. <laughs> files in my drive right and the reason why it works so well is because it allows you to be really intentional about how you spend your time and it also allows you to benefit from something called flow state which is basically when you're doing one specific thing and you're allowing yourself to really lose yourself in it uh, because that allows us to evolve as human beings as well and know that in this moment in time my my career is my priority or i really want to excel in this aspect pressure where there's a mismatch then brings on a whole host of other symptoms that you might then start experiencing so you'll have like 
emotional symptoms. So it's usually in terms of negative feelings, like you might start being really cynical about work, you know, you have lack of motivation, you might detach yourself a little bit, like you might start telling... I've just come into my room. Can you hear this ambiance that's going on? I literally walked in, I went, because ah, I was not expecting it. Let's do a room tour. Let's do a room tour. Here we come in. This is the front door. We turn, we've got the wardrobes, which I've not even opened yet. We've got some wardrobe space. Then as we pivot, we've got the room and this bathroom. You guys, I need to renovate the whole house right now because this bathroom, I love my job. I love my job. This bathroom is gorgeous. Look at the overhead shower. I'm taking a bath tonight. I am taking a bath tonight. We've got some gorgeous towels, complimentary items, thank you, if I do say so myself. And then let's pivot around to the room. I literally have just got in, you guys, so we're all taking the tour together. We've got some refreshments, we've got a little desk, a coffee machine. We've got some, oh my goodness, we've got some Nespresso. We've got some tea, we've got mugs, a telephone. We've got a TV and we spin around to, I'm pretty sure this is a king size bed, queen size. This bed's massive. I don't think it's doing it justice. This bed is like two lots of mine. Goodness, and then they brought my suitcase in for me. We've got some robes. Guys, this bed's gorgeous. Can we talk about these chairs? Can we talk about these chairs? Absolutely stunning. I literally want chairs like this at home. They're so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. is not what we think, right? We want to rush through things. Maybe it's actually the opposite. Maybe we actually need to take slower time to do things. So I think that's a really important principle that we want to learn. Wow. Wow. And that's just the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the second one, because some of my favorite pieces are the ones that I thought I messed up. <laughs> no, I love this feedback. This is very encouraging. <laughs> I've just gone back from one of the activities. Okay, so I've just gotten back from one of the activities. We were doing calligraphy, as you guys saw. Don't watch my writing. Everyone else done really well. I've just come back to drop this off and to freshen up because we are going for food, drinks and dancing. Um, my hair didn't, guys, I still need to catch you up with what's happened. Today, this morning was so manic, me getting out of the house, I woke up with my hair like this. So I think I'm gonna give it a good spray and let it go down. I'm gonna run it to go meet my girls and then we're gonna go for some food, mingling, networking, dancing, the whole lot. You guys, I mean, you can't even see. This place is actually stunning, like gorgeous. The vibes are immaculate, the people's amazing, the food's amazing, the drinks are amazing. It's all, it's all brilliant. It's all brilliant. Me and Lucy were just heading to the tent. We oh, yeah. For, I don't know what session. For Danny, hold on. drinks, hold on. networking, chatting, the lot. But we're not allowed in the boat, so we? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's already happened. We don't even need an introduction. We know she's the babe. She's the sister. What do you say in your intro again? Hey guys, it's well. Oh wait, hold on. Hey guys, it's Lydia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, hey, what's up? Welcome. If not, and the VIP sit where? At the very motherfucking front. Period. <laughs> Miss Lydia has been showing us girls how we do it on YouTube as a seasoned creator. What is your what, 15, years. 15 whole years? I've been here for a minute. 15 years ago, I was a baby girl. Yes. I was a baby girl, but I was a baby girl. What is your <laughs> advice for us aspiring creators that we can turn it into not just a hobby but a business? Um, consistency. Mm. Like I feel like right now we're definitely in a microwave generation where people are like, you go, people go viral and people go 
people go viral off like one video on TikTok right. and then they're like, oh my god, yes, I'm gonna do it again and yeah. it's gonna happen. No, 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 no. Consistency. You have to slog it through the years. Like, I'm not saying that's gonna be the case for everyone because some people actually do just have God on their side and luck and everything else. But for the most of us, but for most of us, you have to keep slogging. I've been doing this for 15 years. It's only now that they're seeing who I am. Like for real, and I really mean it. You're doing amazing. You are. Thank you. Renault series part two. Yes. And cheers to that, babe. Okay, so I've just got into the tent. And why are they saying, why are they saying that this is Prosecco? I'm sorry, why is it in a teacup? Why is it in a teacup? We're ordering Prosecco out of a teacup. <laughs> Let me. The intention is to get us back. Well, this is a part two. Cheers. No, you have to do it. Quick. <laughs> Since the queen is not here, right. we're breaking the rules. <laughs> guys i just had a moment to myself in this room it's like it's like nearly 10 o'clock i've been up since five this morning what happened this morning because i've been talking about i'm going to talk to you about this when i have some free time i've been we've been networking all day you guys we've been networking all day but basically what had happened was I was meant to wake up at 5 this morning to catch my 6.30 train, yeah. I woke up at 5, that, no, I woke up at 5, did I actually get out of bed? No. I don't remember falling back asleep and I, that's a promise, hand on heart, that's a promise. I fell back asleep apparently and woke up at 5.40 a.m. I booked an Uber the night before, scheduled the Uber because I knew that I would be way too tired, not even remember, and the fares would have been more expensive the day of, the morning of. So I pre-booked it the night before, my Uber was all booked and ready for me. I even got Uber Lux. I suggest, treat yourself, you go on a YouTube trip, you know? So I did, and I woke up literally, you know when like you're late for school? <laughs> That's the only thing I can compare it to. You're like, <gasps> gosh out of your sleep and I have never gotten out of bed so fast. I got out of bed, I was running around like a headless chicken trying to get my bed. Luckily I had everything packed the night before but I was like trying to brush my teeth, trying to wash my face, trying to look presentable. Threw my clothes on so fast, grabbed my bags, flung everything into my bag, ran down the stairs. Corey was downstairs with Arlo in the morning because Arlo just didn't want to sleep. So he was like, oh, I thought you were out already. I was like, no, the Uber's outside. The Uber was calling me. He was like, where are you? I'm so thankful he didn't leave. If he left, I probably wouldn't have made it to the trip. But like I got in the Uber and I was so flustered, obviously, because I literally got up, got out like in seconds. So that's what happened this morning. So I, I know I said like yesterday, yeah, I want to try and vlog. No, I quite literally didn't have the time. I didn't have the hands. Like I had my handbag, I had my camera in my bag, I had my books, I had my phone, I had my suitcase, I had a coffee, a really big coffee that I ordered from Costa that I didn't even get to drink. My train ended up being cancelled as well. When I got to the station, everyone was waiting for the train to come in and then it changes from the time that it's meant to be there to cancelled and everyone was just, I was livid. I was just like, of course this happens the day that I need to be at my first brand trip with YouTube, of course. So. Luckily, there was literally a train going to London Euston, like on the next platform that was departing in like five minutes. So we all sprinted and I'm so happy I got a table seat because I needed to do work. I had so much meetings to go on, so much work to plan and I got a table seat. And as soon as I sat down, everyone came and I was like, no, you guys are not getting up. So I made it, by God's grace, I made it. And yeah, as you can see, I'm in the bathroom now. I have had the most amazing day. I can't even put into words how today has made me feel. 
like I'm here with YouTube, I'm here with Bottom Bloom, which is the collective for female creators on YouTube, for black creators on YouTube, but we're here as women of YouTube. So this trip is representing women on YouTube. I have met such an array of women on this networking wellness trip from wellness creators to food creators to parenting creators to doctors to people who don't even do this full time like the conversations i've had today could have taken me years to get through but i've had years worth of conversations in the matter of a few hours and i'm so blessed to have been in a room with so many amazing women and like i met lydia me and lydia's been chatting back and forth on instagram but I'm so happy that I got to see her in person and meet her and chat to her and you guys got to chat to her, big sis, and I met Lori, who I've been following for ages, and there's there's just so many amazing women at this event that I'm so happy I got to speak to. I vlogged as much as I could, but a lot of the time I just wanted to spend networking, because that's what this event's about, is networking and talking to women and having the conversations of what it's like to be a female creator on YouTube and I'm just so blessed so thank you so much to the YouTube team for the invitation I am so happy to have come and it's been a nice little trip away from the kids I'm not gonna lie the hotel is gorgeous because this video is coming out days after we've left I can say where I'm staying we are staying at Oakley Court it is in Windsor this hotel is gorgeous you've seen this hotel is gorgeous this room is gorgeous i li i wish i recorded my reaction walking into this place i opened the door i went <sighs> this whole experience has just been so uplifting and it's just making me want to make youtube my all because it respects its creators and they go above and beyond to make sure that their creators are looked after and shown that we care for you and that you guys are the reason why our platform is still going because without creators platforms wouldn't be thriving the way that they are so other platforms need to get that in check but just know that i'm so thankful for you guys this trip has just made me like realize how connected i am with my audience and i definitely want to show up for you guys more but yeah like i said it's like 10 o'clock i've come into the bathroom to take my makeup off to put my hair up i've changed out my clothes i'm in the row obviously because why am i at a hotel and i'm not put on the robe i bought my own slippers because i love my slippers from home and i'm just about to take my makeup off film some content obviously i'm gonna film some content like i feel so so grounded like i feel so zen right now because <laughs> it's just been such an amazing evening and i've had some prosecco so do with that information what you will yeah now i'm gonna get ready for bed i'm gonna do a little b-roll of my little night routine and I think I've showed you guys the room already, but obviously I'm gonna take you guys along tomorrow as well. We are waking up, me and the girl are waking up and doing some yoga in the morning. And then after yoga, we'll have some breakfast and then we're checking out, which I'm gonna be so sad to leave this place. I need to return with the family because this place is honestly incredible. I'll leave the details down below if you're interested. Such a gorgeous getaway. Like if you're a couple, if you're a family, even for a solo trip, this place is amazing. But yeah, tomorrow I'm looking forward to it. I'm going home tomorrow, which I'm sad about, but I miss my babies. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. don't want to return home sorry okay cool can you guys send me this bed they're gonna have to drag me out of this bed in the morning good night oh, oh my goodness
until we have 15 more days. So just <laughs> One more set, yes, eight, seven, <laughs> five, seven, 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 five, seven,